I'll give you a little hint probably of what I'm getting next. All right, I don't want to give it away too much. Finesse Gang! You guys, yo, I'm so glad to be back. Right off the rip, as always, you know I gotta say, thank you so much, everybody, for still sticking with me. I've been gone for a little bit. Yes, I have been. I've been taking some personal time. Um, I've just been going through some things, you know, relationship-wise and things like that, and I just didn't have the energy to really be posting on YouTube and just really be into my hobby like I was, you know, just a few months ago. But you know what? Everybody goes through stuff like that. I'm happy to be back with you guys. Sorry, my house is a little bit of a mess right now. Um, <laughs> but long story short, I will be back posting weekly, um, hopefully a little more than weekly, but definitely at least I'm gonna be coming back to posting weekly. As of right now, since I'm having a big project, as you can see by the title, um, it should be weekly. If it maybe is bi-weekly, I apologize in advance, okay? But um, listen, I am going to be building my gun room slash gun closet, all right? And I will show you guys exactly why as of right now. So let's get right into it. I don't wanna even really talk too much. Let's get right into it. And this is part one, guys, out of a four-part series. All right, so enjoy. I'm happy to be back. Thank you, everybody who stuck with me, all my subscribers. Thank you, everybody. Finesse fans, finesse gang, let's go. All right, so. This is going to be my little man cave gun room as of right here. And oh, this should be closed because I wanted to show you guys. So we're gonna walk in through here, right? And then there's another door, which is a walk-in closet. And this is going to be my gun room, guys, okay? It is actually very big in here. I don't know how much like it looks on camera. I mean, there's my foot, there's, you know, there's my shoes and everything like that. Just to give you a little bit of idea how big it is, I mean, I could, fit two chairs in here easily all right so i did start a little bit all right i have a little bit of my ammunition here i have my safe which is oh i lift it up it is bolted to the shelf it cannot move um i have my uh mmp smith and wesson 57 right here so i'm just getting a little bit like you know a little bit of like a blueprint you know, going to the drawing board a little bit. All this is gonna be gone. All this is gonna, all this is gonna be gone. This is still all, I had all my clothes in here. That was the whole thing. I had my clothes in here. I still have some clothes in here and I moved it to my other closet, which I could show you right now. All right, so this is actually a really, really big walk-in closet, okay? I mean, literally you could fit, you could sleep in here if you really want to. <laughs> all right, so I just started. Have my jeans up there, my clothes up here, clothes up there, a couple little vests, coats, blah blah blah. All right, um, this is not about this this uh this uh video is not about this. If you guys want me to make a specific other um video for my closet, I could do that. But I just wanted to give you guys a heads up on why. I'm so doing with it. that being said, guys, all right, all this is gonna get cleaned up. This is literally gonna be for all gun space, okay? Um, uh. I'm in a little shooting today, so usually just a little setup I would have here is something like this, right? I'm gonna make everything neat and organized. This shelf is strictly gonna be for my Glock 43X. This shelf is gonna be for my um, 5.7. As you can see, I have my 5.7 over here, right? Um, I'm going to be getting one more handgun, which is going to be right here. So all this is going to be gone. And I got more ammo today to add to the arsenal. And, uh, I'll give you a little hint probably of what I'm getting next. All right. I don't want to give it away too much. Uh, 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 hint, hint. All right. Actually, did I have a, yeah, I had a loose one in here. All right. So that's probably what I'm getting next, guys. All right, and this is gonna be, I'm getting a little chair to have for the corner. All my shoes is gonna be all gone, all my designer stuff, all the rest of the clothes in here, goodbye. You know, I'm gonna have literally, I started a little bit, this is my like, miscellaneous like um, drawer right there. I'm gonna have all these drawers filled with all my stuff. Um, I'm guessing I'm probably gonna use this as a workbench. I'm gonna get a little chair, use that as a workbench. Probably gonna have my new gun up there. 
I don't know actually. I want to probably actually I might get a um what you call a rack right there and put it right there. That's what I'm probably gonna do. But this is part one, so you know we're just kind of coming up with the blueprint and uh, trying to put everything together. Like I said, all this is gonna be cleaned up. Um, I definitely just want to take you guys step through step and you know get it going. What this is? Oh, this is I think all my cleaning stuff. Yeah, all my cleaning you know material stuff for my guns so we're gonna have it all organized literally everything is gonna be super organized i started already as you can see just a little bit blah 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 and uh yeah so we're gonna organize the ammunition today and we're gonna put in these lights that i got today from home depot because as you can see yeah you can see everything but i think if i put a light under here right here right it would just add a little aesthetic to it you know what i'm saying even though yes it is bright but you know like in the backpack i want it to light up nice i have all the lights lit up down here and it'll, it'll just look really nice so i am going to put everything together like that you guys are going to come along and watch me do it and then at the end we're going to get a little look at uh what we've done today all right so let's get right into it guys come on and as you guys can see i literally have all types of ammunition i mean i have RIP rounds. I have the uh, federal hollow rounds. I mean, I have everything you could think of. I have the Hornadies. I mean, as far as that five sevens, I have the blue tips. I have regular or green tips. I have everything, you know, which I love. I love collecting ammo. I think it's awesome. Um, you know, it gives it a little, it's like sneakers. You know what I'm saying? You want to buy different sneakers that you want to wear? Well, I'll take this. You know what I'm saying? You want to put in different ammo for the gun. Same difference, right? <laughs> Okay, guys. Well, let's take a look really quick what I got over here. Oh, nine millimeter rounds. Matter of fact, this is a little sloppy. I don't like it. It's a little sloppy. No big deal. Let's put that in like that. Okay, there we go. Looking a little better now, All right? Mad nine millimeter ammo mad of it all right put that there like that in the back crazy stuff crazy stuff but i love it it's awesome all right then we got the five seven stuff right here and we're starting to build on the five five six two two three we're going to start to build on that so we're going to start stockpiling crazy of that stuff and if i run out of room which i don't think i will as of right now i mean this is have a lot of space here so we'll see so there we go this top shelf is definitely going to be for ammo i can see everything that i have clearly and then as soon as we drop down this is all just a little bit of everything in there just ah uh, you know just to have some fun little shit that got left behind whatever i keep it in there drop down this is going to be like uh just my clean i don't know just like the clean nice Nothing crazy, you know what I'm saying? My safe, my 5.7 with the silver uh, magazines, love it. And then drop down again, we're gonna have my 43X. By the way, I just got this new knife, which I love too, awesome. Made by, uh, actually I can show you guys right now who it's made by, uh, how do you say it? I don't even know, I forget. Savivi? Yeah, Savivi. So, long story short, this is gonna be like all my uh, gear and stuff, I guess. Like, when I have like all my tactical stuff, gloves. I have a mask back here. See, that's what you couldn't even see. That's why we're gonna put up these lights today. I'm gonna get rid of these, put them on the shelf, get rid of that bag. That gun bag, I'm probably gonna put down there. I don't know, we're gonna see. My Glock bag, uh, I'm gonna definitely keep that down there. And uh, we're gonna see. So, it's coming along little by little. double-sided tape which is really sticky i don't think i'm going to uh, drill it into the board just in case i don't want to leave it there or it gets used for something else so 
what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it on there like that. All right, nice and sticky. And let's put it up. Let's say about right. Right about there. Haha, -ha. perfect. Perfect. What do you think guys? I only got three and I put them on the bottom three. Why? Because let me turn the lights back on is because this shelf and this shelf are actually very bright. Like even deep in the back, you could still see. I mean, you could still see good. And in my safe, I have one of those lights. So I figured I really only needed three for the bottom. And honestly, it makes a difference. It looks really good. It's a soft white. I wish it was kind of a little brighter of a white, but it's still good. And we are going to keep it like that for now, guys. You know, I have a lot of changes coming up. This is still just, you know, my first uh, crack at this as of right now. You know, so, you know, little by little, we're gonna get it together. So there it is, guys. Little by little, we put in the lights. It looks really cool, even with the lights off. Let's check again. Haha, -ha. nice. All right, but before I go, I did want to say I'm probably going to make this a short. Um, I will be giving away my Sentinel Optic. Um, I bought it brand new. I literally mounted it to my 43X one time and I don't know if optics are for me. All right, so I will be giving that away. I will be making that a whole short in itself. I will be explaining all the rules and somebody can win it for free. You know, I think I paid, uh, oh geez, maybe $200 for it. I think it was about $200. Mm, I don't know now, yeah, I think about 200. So somebody can be winning that for free. All right, but I did want to say, you guys, thank you for sticking out for part one. Thank you for sticking around throughout these months where I think it's been about maybe two months I haven't made a video where I um, just been down and out, needed some, um, you know, just mental time for myself, been going through a lot. Thank you for sticking around. I noticed I really did not lose any subscribers, maybe one. Um, that's why I'm doing this giveaway for you guys. I want to get you guys boosted back up. I myself want to get boosted back up because I love this hobby. And um, I love shooting. I love the whole thing about concealed carrying. I love, you know, knowing the law and just having a good time. You know, this is all about having a good time. That's why I also don't take me so serious sometimes when you see me doing shorts, this and that. It's just having a good time, guys. I don't need to be so serious. I'm good at what I do. I'm always learning new every day. I'm always willing to learn new every day. Um, believe me, I do not know it all. Um, part one of my uh, building my, my gun room. Thank you for sticking around. Finesse gang, we out.